So, two new exciting things. First thing, I just came back from a job interview at Books A Million, which is a bookstore sort of like Barnes & Noble. And it went really well. I think I might get hired, I'm hoping. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. They are interviewing a lot of people, but I have a lot of experience, so who knows? And the other news is this. Be prepared. Do you see that tiny little cat? That Yuki's probably about to hiss at? Yep. My sister and her boyfriend, Ryan, just adopted a little black and white kitten. Let me try to show her to you better. Here we go. This is Penguin. She was already named by the lady who had um, decided to take care of her. They were found, apparently. Hey, I can't see you when you're under the bed. You're as bad as Hobby. Penguin! Hello! <laughs> And all of the cats and Hobby now are fascinated with her. They wonder how a cat got to be so small. <laughs> She's rambunctious. She's never been in here before. I don't know whether or not it was a very good idea to bring her in here, but <laughs> that's the big news. Besides that, we had a nice Memorial Day. We pretty much just watched Zombieland and hung out with our friends Doug and Melly, who you've heard about. They're moving to Germany soon, so we're trying to spend a lot of time with them. What else? Well, I got a call about this job, this Books a Million job that I had applied for last week on Saturday, and I was already busy because I had to go to the Garrison Keillor show, so I had to do an interview the next day. Oh, Yuki. I had to postpone the interview until Sunday, but it worked out. They're very, very late back there. And so, yeah. And then yesterday, which was actual Memorial Day, we celebrated, too, a little bit by watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is a really funny show. My favorite character... Can you guess my favorite character? Have you seen that show? If you've seen that show, guess my favorite character. If you haven't seen that show, probably not a good idea to try to guess my favorite character. Um, there's nobody on the show named Ben, so that's not... that doesn't work. But that's everything that's been going on, and... This weekend, we're going to see Conan O'Brien, so I'm going to probably have to do a vlog on Saturday before we go, because otherwise I'm going to be way too busy having a crap load of fun to film a vlog. I will try to film a little bit of, like, after-show stuff, but I won't be able to film the show. I don't want to get kicked out or get my fancy, beautiful new camera stolen, so. <laughs> but, yeah, so you have that to look forward to. I will hopefully maybe be meeting this guy. We're hoping to maybe see Splice, if Splice doesn't totally suck, because I love Adrian Brody. I heart read our Ben. But yeah, if I work at Books A Million, I'll be able to recommend some new books that are coming out. Ha! <laughs> That's always a good thing, and I'll get book discounts. And I love books, so... Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna keep showing the kitten, because the kitten's far more exciting than I am. Are you gonna take a dust bath? What are you doing? Hobby's interested in you. Hobby's face was so funny. He looked really dramatic when he saw her. I kind of want them to meet, but I don't want them to meet soon because she might just beat the crap out of him. She's too fast to film. She's like him. Forgive my mess. I've had this mess for a year. I'm too lazy to get shelves for everything, so I just keep everything in boxes. But I have organized this organization, so... Cashy's kind of adjusted well, and Vlad just pays attention to her, kind of like a bored father. But Yuki still hates her. Yuki still doesn't really know what to do. Which is weird, because Yuki had kittens, but maybe she wanted to be done with kittens. Hey, 